Responsibility. We talk about it oftentimes on a cruise. We get on to those kids who sometimes cause problems on a cruise, but on the show today, we're sharing a story with you about a child, a teenager, who was responsible. He was the one that was responsible. His parents, not so much, as he made sure that he made it back to the ship before the ship left the port, but the parents did not do the same. He tried to warn them. We're sharing that story with you on the show today. We're also sharing news from Carnival Cruise Line as they have removed a VIFP perk that many people have come to know and love. We'll share that with you as well. We all need some time in the islands. Let's go there now on Island Time. Hey, big happy Friday. It's finally Friday. We hope that you Islanders are having a great day. You're having a good weekend. We are right here on Island Time. I am Derek. Let's drop our anchors and take some time to relax on the islands together. We have a busy weekend plan with some baseball, and I have to sit down and plan our cruise next month. We're going to Europe. I have some planning to do for Rome, Italy. That is what's on my plate this weekend. What are you doing that's cruise-related this weekend? Let us know in the comments section below. Our baseball tournament is local. Amanda and I will be around working some, answering emails for sure if we can be of any help. Be sure to email us at travel at bookislandtime.com. Let's jump right in to the cruise news. So two stories today. The first one is pretty crazy. We oftentimes complain about kids and sometimes how kids are noisy, how they have certain actions that they do that make our cruise sometimes less enjoyable. But we're gonna talk about a kid today, kind of a kid, but not really a kid, an 18 year old who went on his first cruise, his family went on their first cruise. This was for his graduation, celebrating graduation, celebrating adulthood, celebrating responsibility, celebrating some freedom and being on your own. And little did this 18-year-old know that he was actually going to be on his own during the cruise because of some actions from his parents. You see, this family, they were off the ship. It is port day, and they're heading back to the ship, but his parents are stopping and shopping and haggling and negotiating while the teenager is saying, we need to get back to the ship. We need to go to the ship. Time is running short. They will leave us. And if you've cruised before, Islanders, you know when they say to be back at a certain time, you better be back because they will absolutely leave you. The teenager gets so upset with his parents that the teenager actually leaves his parents and goes back to the ship by himself while his parents say and shop. Here's what the teen said on social media. Well, it was a week-long cruise, and they would not head back to the ship. When I said it was time to go, they were busy shopping and bargaining with the locals. I finally said that I was heading back to the ship. My mom, my mom waved me off. The teen made it back to the ship. The parents, well, they made it back to the ship, but they were 45 minutes late, and the ship was not there when they got back to the ship. They reached out to their teenager to say, hey, what happened? You knew that we were coming back. You knew that we were right behind you. You got back to the ship, literally inquired why the teenager didn't hold the ship for them. Why the teenager didn't tell crew members, my parents are behind me. Wait for my parents, they are coming. You know that's not going to help, even if the teenager said those things, and the teenager probably did, probably shared with crew members. My mom and dad aren't too far behind, but they are behind. Uh, can we not leave until they get back on board? You guys know how things go. The crew will listen to that, but when it's time to go, it is time to go. Can you imagine this teenager uh, that night being by themselves? Uh, I, don't, I would really like to know, did the teenager live it up uh, where they are like, oh, my parents are stupid. My parents are idiots. I told them, I told them, who's responsible now? Who's the responsible one? Uh, I hope they had a great night. I hope that they weren't scared in any way. We do know that the teenager had communication with the parents during this time period. But hopefully, 
they had a good night on their own. The parents did make it back to the ship. They flew to the next port of call, and the next day they were able to rejoin the cruise. But I wish I could see the moment when the parents got back on board. And the teenager said, <laughs> look, <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back to the ship. For the rest of their lives, the teenager will be able to share this story of how they were responsible at the young age of 18, and his parents did not listen to him. His parents did not listen uh, to the cruise line when they said it's time to be back, be back by this certain time. They'll be uh, always be able to tell the story, but it really sounds like the parents had a little bit of animosity towards the teenager for not doing more to make sure the ship stayed there where they could get on board. The parents have almost blamed the teen in this situation in a society where most of the times our teenagers blame everybody else. Who is at fault here, Islanders? Did, it, did the teenager do what they should have done? Should they have left their parents and said, I'm going back to the ship? Should they have fought tooth and nail to make sure that the ship stayed there while the parents made it back? Are the parents justified in blaming the teenager or should they look in the mirror themselves and say, you know what, we made a mistake. We didn't follow the time rules and regulations. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. We would love to hear from you. We will share this second story with you as well. Carnival Cruise Line and their casino department in particular is sharing that they are removing a popular VIFP perk for platinum and diamond guests. If you are a platinum and diamond guest, you probably remember before the pandemic, you had tournament access. You could either enter into the slot tournament for free and push that button. Have you guys ever done that? Bing, 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 bing. It's like two or three minutes. Bing, 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 I mean, authoritic wrist is what it is. Do you guys remember that? Or you could enter into the blackjack tournament if you wanted to. You had free entries and you could choose between the two, whatever you wanted to do. After the pandemic, Carnival Cruise Line did not have those tournaments anymore. And so they substi substituted a $25 free play credit instead of this tournament access. And you could, you could uh, request for that $25 uh, fun play credit to be in a chip form. You could go play a table game or they would load it and you could play it at a slot machine. It was totally up to you. And I've seen people win money on this. I've seen people actually get the $25 chip, go to the roulette wheel, play a birthday, play an anniversary, and bam, hit for 800 and something dollars. I've seen it with my own eyes. But now Carnival Cruise Line, and in particular, the casino department has removed this VIFP perk for platinum and diamond guests, and they're not substituting anything in its place. John Hild shared this. Yes, the casino has decided to remove the $25 the $25 Fun Play Casino Credit was one of the temporary offers uh, to our top tier VIFP guests with a full suite of casino promotions and activities. We are sunsetting this credit and continue to look for ways to make sure our, our loyal guests have a great time while cruising with us. A lot of people are going to be upset about this. They will. $25 was fun to play and we don't exactly know why it was removed. Was it a revenue issue? Were people getting this credit and winning money and the casino said, we've got to stop the bleeding here? Maybe they got the credit, they played the credit, never played some of their own money, which the casino group thought maybe they would. We don't know. We just know that it has been removed. Nothing else has been added in its place. And some people thought maybe this was uh, a, a link or maybe this is a bridge or a transition to a new program. That is not the case Yet, John Hild went on to say it has nothing to do with the new program. That's a completely separate entity, but the casino change has been made by the casino. I hope it makes sense, but I promise I'll let everybody know who needs to see the comments and make sure they understand everybody's thoughts on this. This was a perk that I enjoyed. We enjoy playing in the casino, and I would play uh, that chip on my anniversary number, uh, Amanda and I, anniversary is 17. I will play it on 17. But it was fun uh, to use this perk. You know, it's fun when you're at that uh, diamond and platinum level and you do get perks like this, but it is gone. 
and some people are upset. If you receive this perk, what do you think of this news? Does it bother you? There may be many out there who actually never went to the casino to collect this perk anyway, so it doesn't affect them at all. Let us know what you think in the comments section be below. Do you think maybe some, something should have been substituted in its place? Let us know that as well. And while you're down there, be sure you tell us what you're doing that is cruise related this weekend. If you have pictures or video to share, maybe you just recently cruised, maybe you're hopping on a cruise this weekend, be sure you join our Facebook page. The link to that is in the description of this video. Almost 5,000 cruisers and islanders are there and every single day we ask our questions, we share ship reviews, we share photos. We would love for you to join that community as well. Islanders, we can't wait to see your thoughts on the show today. Be sure that you like the video, of course, We'll see you on our Facebook page and all weekend right here on Island Time. Venice. For